Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name, and Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ his true name. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone for ruling and teaching well in the scriptures, and salutations to all you Akim out there that pushes word all truth and all sincerity. And I'm going to do a scripture of the day. And we're going to go to the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 25, verse 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And the main point that I want to talk about is at the, uh, the last um, part of the verse. It says, He that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Okay? And, um... It's a beautiful thing, Archim, um, what we're seeing and what we're um, and what time frames that we're in, okay? Because we're seeing the um, downfall of Esau Edom, okay, which is a so-called white man. We're seeing his kingdom uh, crumbling before our eyes, and this should motivate you to keep pushing, to keep, uh, uh, um, you know, basically, you know, studying, making videos, going out to the uh, to the line, breaking bread with brothers. So on and so forth, okay? Alright? You shouldn't be a, a weak and faint during these times. Because there's so much going on that um, the news can't even report everything. And if it did report everything, you couldn't even um, basically read all the articles that are um, um, out there, okay? That's how much is going on worldwide right now, okay? And this should boost your spirit. This shouldn't make you, uh, you shouldn't be uh, weary and faint right now, okay? We're not in those times, all right? And, and the reason why I'm bringing this lesson out is because uh, uh, I was working in the uh, rich part of um, Chicago today. And I've been noticing every time I go in that, um, that region that um, I see more for sale um, signs on these homes, Okay? Or uh, basically in front of the homes, I see a lot of for rent signs. A lot of um, there's a lot of store um, fronts that are closed. Okay. Yes, it's still you know, uh, uh, it's still so-called prestigious. Okay, but it, it, it's completely falling right before our eyes. All right. It's not like how it was. I'm gonna even say like ten years ago. All right, when I um. When I was in the when I was in those areas, okay, it wasn't like that. Times are are rapidly changing, okay. And we're we're at the uh, end of this man's kingdom, all right. And the Israelites' kingdom, which is you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's coming, all right. And right now, uh, the kingdom it is uh, um, basically here, but it's within us, man. As the scriptures say in the book of uh, Matthew, I believe, the kingdom of heaven is in us, all right. Starting with his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Then after that, we're gonna, uh, we're um, once the elect is sealed. That's when we're gonna get uh, redeemed out of this place, and we're gonna get our kingdom, the the physical kingdom, all right. That's placed here on on this planet Earth, all right. But I can, you know, stay strong, all right, because hey, we're we're living in the times where we're seeing our enemies fall right before us, man, all right. They're having uh, financial problems, a drug uh, um, use, uh, like even these two Edomites that bypassed me right now. They look like they were strung out on, on heroin. That's a beautiful sight, man, to see uh, our enemies um, having these issues, man. They're having marital problems, man. All right? You know, that was just all through the spirit, man, that I just saw that. Uh, Edom, a young Edomite couple, probably, you know, 21, maybe 22, strung out on uh, heroin, it looked like, man. All right? And with that, man, Akim, stay strong. Yabashim, Yashai, uh, brought a thumb to you, Akim. Shalom.